Instagram, how we doing out there? Welcome to the Running Shoe Buy Guide. Hello out there, YouTube family. Oh man, so still getting used to this new light, everybody. And I'm not saying I'm nailing it yet, so do bear with me on the brightness on the temperature scale. I hope you're having a great Friday. How you doing? Let me know where you're watching from around the world, everybody. Oh, my, my, butter to the bread. Good to see you. I see you as well, Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. We are live on YouTube, okay? Shout out New York City. Can you see that there? Run, New York City. It's getting closer, getting hyped, everybody. Okay, let me just make sure we're live all over the interwebs. And yeah, let's get a little, get a little bell going as well. Who is going to be... Who is going to be first on the screen on this fine, fine Friday? We're going to go with Jeremy from Akron, Ohio. Thank you, Jeremy, for tuning in from Ohio. I do appreciate I've got three cameras going, and I'm kind of struggling to figure out where to look. There we go. I see you, Jeremy. Thank you for tuning in from Akron, Ohio. How you doing out there, Jeremy? Okay, let me just bump this up a little bit. All right, again. I got a new light. You may have noticed in today's vlog. Did you see today's vlog, everybody? My New York City Marathon A, B, and C goals. Okay, I, I get uh, very detailed in my goals for the New York City Marathon. There we go. Got a new t-shirt. And um, so I'm figuring out this light, hence the camera, and I don't exactly know where in fact, I'm just going to drop this down just a little bit. There we go. Ooh, that feels better. That feels much, much better. Okay, Laura's in the house. And yes, if you do care to hit that like button, I would appreciate it. Let the rest of DGR know that we are talking about running shoes on this fine, fine Friday. Laura's in the house. Hello, hello. Carl is here. Thanks for... No, thank you, Carl, for the inspiration. And oh my goodness... Before I forget, we've got a couple of new members on this fine day. First of all, um, I'm not going to find it because it was a while ago, but a shout out to Posse Marcus. Thank you for joining up as a new member. Thank you, Thank you so, so much, Marcus. You joined up before the live stream actually even happened hello from england hello 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 pietro from italy good to see you from tunisia sebastian's in the house morning pops yes i guess uh yes i am a pops hello ryan good to see you we love the new lighting okay good and i'm still figuring it out antoinetta turin italy in the house how about the uh, Turin Football Club right now? Doing pretty, pretty well. Marcus, thank you again for being a member. Um, Nicholas says, needs more cameras. Hello, Christopher. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Lou. Lou, I'm going to see you in about a week, Lou. Shout out. Oh, my, my. And Instagram, we are live on YouTube as well. And we'll get to your questions here in a minute. Save them here. Hello, Jackie from New York City. It's not that cold today. Uh, cowbell, more cowbell. Let's get more cowbell for Marcus. Indeed, indeed. Hold on, hold on here. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. DGR cowbell. Come on now. Okay, Paul is here. Chris is here from Sydney, all around the world. Grand Torino, yes indeed. Hello from Melbourne for Francisco. Good to see everybody. Me News always tuning in from India. Very, very good. Ryan, what's going on? And again, thanks for hitting that like button on a Friday. So here's the deal. We're going to jump into your questions um, about running shoes. And uh, gosh, actually, I just remembered. We've got a box to open up. We'll go. Well, and actually, I'm just finishing off my afternoon, uh, you know, little afternoon uh, session of you know what right there. It's done. I have to cut myself off. I don't know about all of you, but I have to cut myself off from caffeine basically right about 2, 2.30, which is right about now in Colorado. So we are done with the coffee for the day. Good to see everyone. Indeed. Okay. Gavin is here. Seth, crazy hair in the house. I know. It's just getting a little out of control, Gavin. 
I need a haircut. That's what I, I'm waiting for next week before New York City. And before we dive into your questions and open up the box, um, True Love 5K, okay? Woo, woo, where is it? It's down there. February 12th through the 20th. February 12th through the 20th, okay? I'm going to um, share True Love's training plan for her 5K. So she's, you know, a beginner runner, getting back into it. Um, so it's going to be kind of like a classic couch to 5k training plan. I'm going to release it on November, basically like November 11th or 12th. So it's going to be a three month training block for true love to get ready for the true love 5k. Sound good. So mark your calendars and, um, registration will open up shortly there after. Okay. And yes, how was your run today? I always like to ask that Sco buffs. Yes, indeed. Sco buffs. You know about the Buffaloes. They did well, especially the ladies today at the Pac-12 Cross Country Championships. Austin is asking, how are the legs feeling? Austin, they're feeling very good. Had a good workout today on the track. Thanks for asking, Austin. I do appreciate it. Um, Craig says, got my New Balance Rebel 2s. Very good. Um uh-huh okay let's see paul here we go you can tell seth is tapering when he's dancing loads more in his vlogs paul i got the energy i felt good today paul on the track um one more solid effort effort tomorrow just so you're aware and then uh and then it's really tapering starting on sunday so Let's see. Sam is in the house. Recovery day today. Gearing up for 15 miles tomorrow. Sam, very good. Luis ran my first half marathon distance today. Congratulations, Luis. That's a big deal. Awesome. Let's get the cowbell for Luis. Come on. And Luis, frankly, Luis, it looks like you're in the... Ooh, sorry. Is it? Is that the Marines? Thank you for your service to our country i think that's the, oh i don't want to get in trouble luis somebody help me out luis thank you for your service and congratulations on the half marathon jacob is saying the taper is on ahead of iron man florida very cool that's awesome jacob very good um let's see jake is here uh, da, 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 da. i'll get to your questions here in a minute mm -hmm -hmm. caleb's in the house what's up uh, Caleb, whoa, nice and big, Caleb, whoa, okay, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing here, Caleb, I'm getting ready to go out and pace my wife for a six-mile tempo run, oh, the couple that runs together stays together, right, 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 Caleb, there you go, Luis, uh, is still here, okay, Ryan, I need more cowbell, we always need more cowbell, right, Ryan, come on now, um, let's see, okay, I'm just, Marines, yes, I was right. All right, good. I don't, you know, you don't want to mix that up too. You know, you don't want to mix that up. So thank you for your service. H Town Q, gotta go. Race bib pickup happening. H Town Henry, what are you racing this weekend? Let us know in the chat. Okay, here's the deal. We're putting it on the screen. All right, we'll take that down. Take uh, actually, we'll just bump the shoe over since we're talking about shoes. Let's dive in questions and yes instagram i love you as well uh it's hard to manage it all sometimes but instagram i'll try and pull a question from instagram as well if you have a a question about running shoes let me know okay i'll try and get you at least one i'll promise one right now also discord okay if you have a question over on discord hop over to discord and then i haven't forgotten about the box as well we'll open that up a very exciting box Okay, here we go. Oh, Daniel. Daniel, the New Balance More is basically my favorite easy day shoe of 2021. No joke. I love it. The New Balance Fresh Foam More V3, just so everybody's aware, is like my favorite. I, it's just so soft, so cushioned. I just love it so, so much. Okay, let's just put this in here on Discord. So if you have a question, fire away on Discord. You guys know how to hop into that. Uh-huh. Let's go, let's go. There you go, Sebastian. Uh-huh. We got a we got a box, Geert. 
Uh huh. Oh man, Ryan. Oh man, Ryan. You you gonna go there? That is a hard, hard question, Ryan. Um, and I'm just monitoring Instagram as well. Man, oh man. You guys see Ryan's question there? Ryan just ran the uh, Boston Marathon. Everybody, cheer on Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Where you at, Ryan? Um. I mean, I'd go New Balance Fresh Foam More V3 for an easy day. I would do Hoka Mach 4 for a, a daily trainer slash tempo day crossover slash fart lick shoe. I would do Nova Blast for a pure fun day, Nova Blast 1 or 2 uh, for just a – actually, Nova Blast 2 because of – you guys know my issue with the heel counter for just like a pure daily trainer uh, that's just like fun to run in, Nova Blast 2. And then I would go, um, I would go, I mean, oh, man, hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd go Endorphin Speed 2 or 1 for a long run shoe, okay? Um, and then I would go... I would go next percent one or two for a threshold day, okay? And, um, you know, I would probably do, I would probably do like, mm. <laughs> you're putting me on the spot, man. Um, oh. I would go Skechers. Um, I would probably go even like Skechers Max Road 5 for another long run shoe option. Yeah. All right. I'll stop there. Ryan, good question. Whew. Put me on the spot. I love it. Okay. Uh huh. Here we go. David, best shield shoes for Canadian winter. Actually, stepping out of the studio. I'm so sorry. Instagram, ask me a question. I'm coming for you. Boom. So. Here we go. I'm really, I mean, it's just hard to argue against the Speed 2 Run Shield. And it's, it's if you want a, a shoe that can pick up in the Canadian winters, David, um, but I don't know if it's going to be warm enough, actually. You might need to wear thick socks, which means you might need to go a half size up because I see this doing well in wet conditions, but I don't know about like the Canadian temperatures and wind. Depending on, I know it can be windy in Canada. I've seen the pictures. It just looks chilly. I'll just put it that way. So you might need to go a half size up for thicker socks. Keep that in mind. David, thanks for tuning in, David. Let us know where you're watching from, from Canada. Uh-huh. Active Ideas, thanks for being a member of the channel. Here we go. Um, which zero drop shoe would you recommend except barefoot recommendations? I mean, I love the Torin, okay? The Torin. Oh, I see a question. What is your favorite shoe for a 50K to 100K trail race? All right, here we go. Run Disney Dylan. I got it. I got it. Run Disney Dylan. What is your favorite shoe for a 50K to 100K trail race? I got it. Oh, my goodness. Laura, I'm coming for you as well. Um, so, Dylan on Instagram. There's a lot. Go oh my gosh. I just, I just broke. I just broke the internet. Hold on. Hold on here. Okay. True love 5k is getting a lot of good promotion today. Active ID. We got a lot going on on the screen today. Run Dylan, Hoka Evo Speed Goat, Hoka Evo Speed Goat, Hoka Evo Speed Goat. Okay. Hoka Evo Speed Goat, run Disney Dylan. And then back over here, Active Ideas, Ultra Torin. Um, are we on the 4.5? I love the plush version. Active Ideas Ultra Torin. T O R I N Ultra Torin. And then get out the cowbell. Come on now, Laura. Making me. Come on now, everybody. Um, Laura, you now have. That's right. T O R I N. It, no, no double N at the end there. Laura, newest member of the channel. Come on now. Thank you, Laura, for joining up with the Studio Super Fans. Okay, you now have access to 
the Discord chat. Okay, speaking of Discord, I'm coming for you. All right, nothing in there yet. All right, that's fair with me. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, Austin, why the next percent over the next percent two in Detroit? Basically, Austin, the next percent two that I own right now is a half size too big for racing. And um, so just so you know, that's 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 the reason why. Um, so I, I have a next percent in a half size down, which for me, there's a little insight, everybody. I like a half size down for race day just to um, I like a snug fit. I don't like to I don't like to move around at all on race day. OK, there you go. Onward and upward. Mm hmm. OK, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh huh. Okay, I'm just trying here, just trying here, trying to find your questions. Okay, I see one coming in from Paul. Okay, Paul, I'm trying, Paul. Here we go, Paul. Um, Seth, if you were to ever design a shoe, what would the specifications be? Upper, trail, or road, etc. Oh my my. Paul, I mean, let's just go road for now. I'd probably go six millimeter drop, and then up to eight millimeter drop. Um. I would go fully gusseted tongue. I would go a heel flare in the back. Um, I'd probably do dual density foams. So a firmer foam uh, just below the foot and then a, sorry, uh, closer to the road and then a softer foam just below the foot. Okay, so two, dual density foam. There you go, Paul. Mm. I'd lean in the direction, Paul, of eight millimeters, actually. I really would. Onward and upward. Here we go. Minu in the house. Okay, Minu. Uh, which shoe would you suggest for a good bounce, responsive, and is lightweight to improve my cadence and help in my overall gait cycle for five to 10K runs? I think everybody or many people could answer this for me. The Nova Blast Minu. The Asics Nova Blast 1 or 2. Both great shoes. If you want to save a little money, I would go Nova Blast 1. Um, Asics Nova Blast 1 or 2 for some nice, good bounce. Love, love, love that shoe. Oh, my, my. Here we go. Get it out. Come on now. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, and Danny. Yes, Danny. Danny's, Danny's, Danny's got it. 100% a decoupled groove. Yes, 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 yes. 100%. You better believe it. I see the patriotic runner. Come on now. There you go. Thank you, patriotic runner. Onward and upward. Okay, let's dive in. Here we go. Uh, Atanas, Atanasov, a Nova Blast 2 versus Invincible. Which would you recommend for daily trainers? Now that is a running shoe battle. That is worthy of a battle. So when I hesitate, if you watch me go crazy in the studio enough, and thank you for hitting the like button. I just saw somebody remind in that live stream chat. Let the rest of DGR know that we are live in the studio. When I hesitate and I struggle, that means it's a, we need a, a sound effect for a running shoe battle. We need the, I need a bell for um, like a boxing bell. You guys know that when you when they hit the bell three times. I'm looking at it right now. Oh, jeepers. Where's the Nova? Oh, man. Oh, man. Gosh, you gotta put me there. You got you gotta go there. You gotta go there. Make me make me make me uh squirm in the studio. They are significantly different, significantly more expensive, fifty dollars more. Okay, if setting price aside, but I always like to keep price in my scoring because that's the gateway. I'd go invincible. This is a very special shoe. That pains me to say that 
because the Nova Blast is one of my favorite shoes out there. But I'd have to. This is like a. I'm actually devastated. I I I'm not running. I haven't ran in this shoe in eight or nine months. It was January or February 2021 when I did the 50 mile full review for this shoe. So anyway, I would have to go like this shoe is bouncy and fun. So Minu, coming back to you, Minu. There you go. Woo! That was a long answer. I do apologize. That was a long answer, everybody. Oh, my, my. Woo! Jackie, here we go. Seth, is the Saucony ES nylon plate just as good as the Pro with carbon? Man, Jackie, it's tempting to say yes. Now, if you include the price point, I would say yes. I, it's, I tell you what, the speed, the speed is just a special shoe. It, there's no, there's no, I know this is the run shield, but um, it's, eh, Jackie, I'm telling you, I don't see a significant upgrade in feel underfoot um, between the nylon and the car. Like, it's just, a, this, every, I mean, I don't, is there anybody in DGR that um, doesn't like the speed that's watching right now. I mean, there's been like two or three people in the last 18 months, but it's there's just not very many people. Okay, here we go. Diving back in. So great. Do, do, do. Ashton, thanks for being a member. Here we go. Seth, do you know what Nike's next big marathon shoe will be? Well, I think it'll be the Alpha Fly 2. Alpha Fly 2. I'm guessing it'll be released. I'm guessing it'll be released in like March is my guess before Boston. Okay. All right. I'm trying to get to as many as possible. You guys are amazing. Lou is in the house. Okay. There you go. Chad butter to the bread. I like the speed better than the pro. I mean, honestly, I it's hard. Chad, it's, it's hard for me to argue with that. I mean, I had some of my better runs in the speed. Now I'm sure the pro is lighter. I think it's about an ounce lighter, the pro, but man, that speed is, it is a special, special shoe. Okay. Let me just, speaking of shoes, let me just set these down and yes, stay tuned. Haven't forgotten about this box yet. We will open that box up here in a minute. Hold on. Okay. Let's set that there. Okay. Let's take this guy down so we can see just a just a little bit more here in the studio. There we go. Chad is here. Good to, always good to see you, Chad. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's, I'm just putting some uh, comments up. You know, you guys can peruse uh, thoughts from DGR as everyone's doing their thing here. Okay. One shoe for daily trainer, Peg 38, Zoom Fly 4 maybe. Um We'll come back to that in a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. There's Matt in the house. What's up, Matt? Okay. Just trying to find as many of your questions as... Oh, yeah. Discord. Let's see. Okay. Nothing in Discord today. That's just fine. Instagram. Do you have a question? Photos of New York. Hello. Hello. Carrington is here. All right. I'm coming for you, Instagram. If you have a question... You just uh, you just go for it, all right? I'm a little quiet on the Discord front, so I can hop into Instagram. And yes, we are live on YouTube. Let me know, Instagram. Can you hear me? Because it's just like the audio through my phone, so I'm not exactly sure what it's like. And if you're just tuning in, True Love 5K, mark your calendars right there, right there, February 12th through the 20th, okay? Going down, going down. Okay, here we go. Jason's here. Well, Jason, we've been talking about this a little bit. Um, I, I'd have to go Nova Blast for a daily trainer. Asics Nova Blast 2 for a pure daily trainer. Just like a pure daily trainer. Okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> do, do, do. You know, Minu, I have not yet tried the Reebok Symmetros, am I saying that right? It's, a, it's, it's, I would love to. Reebok, are you listening? I would love to, okay? There you go, Ryan Patrick over on Instagram. What are your thoughts on Newton's? The, the durometer is too firm, meaning the midsole. I don't like the durometer of the Newton's, okay? As far as the technology, 
in I, I'm not a buyer. I'm not a buyer. So that's my thoughts on Newton. Thanks for tuning in. Ryan, okay. So good to see everybody. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Geert. And then we might have to open that box. Here we go. Hi, Seth. I'm curious about what you think is the best upgrade this year in terms of shoe version from Carbonex, Carbonex to 2, Endorphin Pro 1 to 2. Which shoe surprised you the most positively? Okay. Geert, as you're going there, I'm going to let everyone let that marinate a second. Hold on. I'm back. Just had to double check. Had to double check a camera. So Geert, um, just racking my brain. Um, hmm. See, that's interesting. That's a good question because I would say man. That's hard. That's a really, it's a very hard question. You are stumping me for a second. I'm just racking my head here. I would, okay, if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with, I'm tempted to go RC Elite, actually. You know? Ugh, that's a hard one. Geert, I might have to make a vlog about that because you just stumped me a little bit. I really enjoyed the V2 here. I think I I think the updates to the upper man. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a. We need to make a vlog about this. What do you guys think? Let me know in the chat. Geert, you just kind of got me. You kind of stumped me there, Geert. Good job. Whenever I get stumped, I'm excited. So Geert, I'm gonna mark that down as a potential vlog idea. Sound good? Okay. Here. We go, what's up, Ray, in the house, Instagram, we're live on YouTube, okay, Sam over on Discord, I've been afraid to get the New Balance more V3 because of your durometer rating, I'm over 200 pounds, so I smash through shoes a little faster than most, I need easy day shoes because I don't like my Hoka Clifton 7s, do you think I should pull the trigger on the New Balance more V3, um, Man, I can't believe it's not in the eights. Um, I think you should. I think the I think the midsole will survive. I think it'll be Sam. I think it'll be okay for you. And another option, if you you know not afraid to pull the trigger on it financially, is the Invincible. You might already own it, Sam. But as far as easy day, bouncy, fun, soft. Um, I think that midsole, let me just think, I think they might, I, I, I'm just reminding myself, I think, I'm trying to think which, I'd say they both be about the same as far as the life expectancy of the Invincible and the more V3 midsoles. Sam, thank you for being a member. Do appreciate it, Sam. Okay. Here we go. I got to open this box because I got to edit the vlog. You guys are amazing. Onward and upward. Oh, mama. Hey, 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 Nate. Mach 4, Mach 4, Mach 4. Guess what? I saw some pictures of the Mach 5 the other day. Yes, Daniel, thank you for the reminder. Okay, butter to the bread. I think I saw one more maybe happening over on Discord. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it, Steven, but we will see. Okay, boom. Let's go. Uh huh. Shout out to, shout out to my buddy Blake. Blake has been tuning in a little bit more. Blake, love you, brother. He made this knife for me back in high school. Don't be alarmed. It's dull as a butter knife. I've it's never been sharpened. So it's about how old am I? 2004. So it's about 16, 17 years old ish. Never been sharpened. But it's made out of an antler. I always like showing it off because it's cool. And it was handmade, homemade. Shout out to Blake. Okay, here we go. Boom. Boom. Yeah, wow. It's still it still opens. Okay. Let's see. 
Let's see. Okay. One, one, two. Any guesses? Any guess? You just saw, you just saw the box. Any guesses? Fire it up. Fire it up. Don't, 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 do 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 What are your guesses? Fire it up. Come on. Now you guys know what it is. Boom. In the house. The Zoom Fly 4. Come on now. Nike Zoom Fly 4. In for testing. In the studio. The studio. Should we put it on the scale? I believe we should, shall. Okay, let's toss that over there. Take this guy out, all right. You guys knew I had to test. I know a lot of other people have already tested it. Wow, very intriguing. Nike Zoom Fly 4, there it is. I must say that colorway is pretty fire. It's yellow, not sure if it's a little bright, I realize. I mean, that is a, that is a zesty colorway, gotta say. Okay, let's turn the scale on here. One second. Okay, hold on, hold. Any guesses? Um, ooh, okay, I haven't done this in a while. In my size, I'm going with, um, wow. Okay, I'm going with like 7.8 in my size, all right? What are your guesses? Let's get some guesses on the screen, come on. Get it quick, get it quick, Stacy. Yes, indeed. Uh huh, uh huh. Come on now. Don't, 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 do, do. don't, 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 do, do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting for it. All right, so there it is. Matt, Matt's going 7.6, 7.2. All right, here we go. We're going with. Oh my my. Okay, way off. Wow, it felt lighter. 8.7, 8.7, wow. Okay, so way off. So pretty, that's a little on the heavy side. Interesting. It's got a chunky midsole, you know. It's it's pretty pretty hefty there. Um, so I was way off. That's in, let me just double check. Yeah, 8.7 ounces in my size. What are you going to do, YouTube? All right, everybody. That is today's live stream. I think I saw one more from Steven over on Discord. Thanks for being a member of the channel, Steven. Do appreciate it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Steven is asking, where is it? Daily trainer trail shoe for Colorado trails. I have been using the Speed Go 4 for that purpose since they came out with it. Um... I'm going to go with, I mean, oh, there's so many options, Steven. I mean, man, I, Steven, I love the Asics Tribuco Max, and I love the, um, um, oh, my goodness. Why am I drawing a blank on the uh, Ultra Glide from Solomon? Sorry, had a blank there. Solomon Ultra Glide. I'm kind of in road training right now, so I'm. So when it comes to trail shoes, so the Solomon Ultra Glide, love this shoe as well, Steven, okay? so But I love the A6 um, Trabuco Max. Also, for a lighter option, Steven, the A6 Fuji Light 2. Love that shoe. Oh, man, you guys rock. Thanks for tuning in on a Friday. Have a great weekend, okay? Keep, keep turning that doorknob. Sound good? All right. Instagram, love you too. Onward and upward, okay. As we always say, seek beauty, work hard. See you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. for a little New York City marathon. Huh, huh, huh? Little New York City marathon final workout. It was zesty, everybody. Boom. All right, see you tomorrow.